wondering um, why are there three different probe tones for the Tim Star Pro? Good question. The first probe tone that we use on the t on the Tim Star Pro is the 226 hertz probe tone. That is the most common one used for patients who are six months and older. The reason we use that is because it is very predictable and very repeatable. There's lots of research on it, and it's the fastest way to diagnose a relatively normal middle ear system. The second probe tone that we use is the 1000 hertz probe tone, and we use that primarily to um, diagnose infants who are six months and younger. The reason we use that probe tone is because the infant ear is mass dominated, which means that when you use 226 on babies under six months, you can get some pretty erratic responses. So you may have effusion in the ear and get a completely normal type A tympanogram. The 1000 hertz moves that probe tone away from the resonance frequency so that we can with confidence interpret those predictable responses just like 226 with grown-ups. The third probe tone that we use in the Timstar Pro is the 678 hertz probe tone. And that's a more diagnostic probe tone when you need to get a, a specialized look or a more critical look at the middle ear components um, if you have a patient whose symptoms just don't add up and don't make sense with your audiometric results you can move into that 678 hertz probe tone, look at the susceptance and the conductance separately, and really get a better idea of maybe a disarticulation or a fixation in that middle ear system.